Hi and welcome. Today we're at Virginia State University's Randolph Farm and we're going to be talking about insects and specifically how to keep them out of your garden beds. I'm here with Rachel Lawmaster. Rachel is here at VSU. Rachel, um, this time of year people are getting some insects. They're, they're going to be starting to damage their crops. What kind of things are we seeing as far as insect problems? So early on you're going to see the cabbage, um, the cabbage moth come in and they will lay a larvae down at your coal crops which will then eat them up nice and good. Um, we also have cucumber beetles and um, different caterpillars and things like that. And your Colorado potato beetle. So lots of these critters want to get in, eat your plants. And I know a lot of people out there don't really want to spray harmful chemicals. Correct. So you've got a method here, it's pretty cool, of keeping them out. Tell me what you've got right here. So we just simply have some insect netting and all it does is provide a nice cover for your plants and keep out any insects from getting in there. Oh, just, just keeping them out. And them out. I noticed you've got a raised bed situation and you're growing, are those beans? We've got beans in the middle. I've got radishes here and some beets as well. Oh, that is wonderful. They look great. And really they're being protected by this fabric, um, keeping those insects out. Tell me what the parts and pieces are. If somebody wanted to do this, is it something that's a lot of parts and pieces? Is it expensive? No, it, it is uh, fairly affordable. You can find different pieces um, at your garden store. For the actual insect netting, you'll probably have to look at an online source. Um, but other than that, it's just the landscape staples and some kind of supportive wire. I've also seen people use like PVC piping. So that's like just this. a straight wire. Absolutely. And then you bend it. And, I, and it turns into these hoops right yep, here, right? You just stick one each in in the ground, and then you have your supportive hoops. Um, every once in a while, I'll double up um, just in the middle, kind of helps keep that structure. Okay. And then those staples, they'll hold it down on the sides or somewhere yes, like that. Yes, they do. And then that makes it easy for you to pull them out and uncover when you need to get in there and weed. Can you use this over and over again every season? So I can get mine to last two seasons if I'm careful enough. Sometimes you'll have uh, some tears in there and, and you'll either have to cut it short or, or you know, uh, just toss it out. Well, kind of a simple process really of putting these hoops in, putting the cover over. It just comes in a roll like that usually. Um, so how do you manage it? So do you keep this on from the time that you first plant and all the way through the growing season? So yes, I like to start mine right off when I first get them in the ground. That's when your plants are the most vulnerable. Um, and then for a lot of my crops that don't need pollination, I can keep them covered year round or you know through their season and just uncover when I need to weed in there. Um, but for the ones that do need to be pollinated, once I see some flowers on these beans, we will have to leave it open. And of course, when they uh, grow past the height of my support hoop, I will have to keep them uncovered. I got gotcha. you. And so this one is you've got open, maybe for pollination, and you've got these others closed. They don't need pollination. Yep. So uh, that is that is wonderful. Now, does it? Do they get too hot under there? No. The it's a very breathable fabric. It lets in light uh, water, a lot of air in there. Um, so they do just fine. I even think it gives them a, a little bit of shading. So. Right. Does it protect any early on? Maybe give it a little bit of um, warmer environment? Does it help at all or do you use something else for that? So I would actually switch to the row covers if I needed that extra heat or, okay. you know, if we got a late frost coming in. Um, and and that's, it's easy to do because I already have my supportive hoops there and I already have my landscape staples. So I'm just swapping out fabric at that point. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. And in fact, you can actually just cover up your insect netting with row cover fabric. Oh, that is perfect. What a neat system to keep to keep insects out and you're not having to spray, which I know everybody loves. Yes. Yeah, that is wonderful. Because that's costly too. It is costly. And it's, um, you know, different on the efficiency. If it's going to rain, I can't spray. That won't do anything and it's just a waste. So this, I can, I don't have to worry about it. And then by the time I'm uncovering the ones that need to be pollinated, the plant itself is usually strong enough to handle a little bit of insect pressure. Perfect, perfect. Well, Rachel, thank you so much. Really neat uh, uh, way to keep insects out here. Thank you, Chris. Well, for more information about how to keep insects out of your garden with this type of cover, contact your local county extension office and talk to a master gardener. For From the Ground Up, I'm Chris Mullins. We'll see you next time. From the Ground Up is presented with the generous advice and assistance of Virginia Cooperative Extension. Visit their website at ext.vt.edu.